Hey guys, this is Jay from CSGO Playbook, and today we're going to be looking at a short B execute from Astralis on Overpass. This was run versus MIBR at the Blast Pro Series in Istanbul. Let's go ahead and take a look. This strat is really set up with two phases. The first phase is to gain control of water by mollying off short, then flashing two players in to catch any potential pushes. Once the remaining teammates have shown some presence in Connector and Fountain, they head back to water. This is where Phase 2 starts. Two mollies are thrown towards both sides of Graffiti, as well as a pair of flashes from Monster in Sight. A Sight Smoke is thrown to block the CT ramp position, as well as alienate any players holding Monster alone. A Heaven Smoke is also thrown at this time. Once the site is secure, the bomb is planted and Astralis eventually finish off the round. Zibnix heads towards B where he immediately mollies short off to block any pushes. When his first teammate reaches the tunnel entrance, he flashes over water to catch any potential boost or pushes that may have come through. He starts to spam quite a bit here as his teammates join back, and there's a couple reasons for that. One is to apply pressure on short in order to discourage any enemies from getting close, as well as mask any grenade cues that his teammates may be giving off. Once his teammates are ready, he heads to the corner and lines up his flash. After he flashes, he heads down monster to secure the site with his teammates. He eventually resmokes Heaven and holds under the balcony for the rest of the post plant. Dupree heads to B, rushing straight to water through tunnels. He puts out a CT molly with his smoke in order to not lose any time in controlling the area. While making sure there are no boosts from the CTs, he throws a flash from Magisk and clears short with him. After waiting for his teammates to return, he lines up his molly and throws it towards Graffiti. And while spamming the ramp, a CT molly blocks his path. After deciding to push through, he is picked off by Stewie, who is forced out of Graffiti and into the open from the pair of Astralis mollies. Magisk makes his way down tunnel with Dupree and checks the boost for any CTs. After clearing short, he lines up for his molly and waits for his teammates to join while holding the angle for any short pushes. After his molly is thrown, he rushes short and gets behind the smoke to check monster. He ends up picking off Stewie in sight while clearing Hell, and then spots Kulzira in Graffiti. Now that the site is clear, he is able to get the bomb down safely, and Astralis eventually went out the round. Device heads down Connector, where he primes a molly and throws it towards the stairs. When he hears the molly burn out from a CT smoke, he suspects a potential push, and right-clicks a flash. He narrowly dodges a very aggressive play from Fur thanks to the timing of the flash he threw. Fur decides not to pursue him up the ladder, fearing an Astralis player may be holding that angle. From here, Device heads back towards B and into water to set up for the execute. He throws the Heaven Smoke and a flash towards Monster, then holds for any pushes from Connector. After the CT molly on short is gone, he peeks Graffiti and picks off Tarek. He decides to head in the water to check Tunnel and is picked off by Fur. Glaive heads toward A and throws a flash and a nade towards Fountain to help negate any aggressive plays from the CTs. This may seem a bit harmless, but showing some presence early like this can help buy the time you need to set up for the B exec. Once he gets to water, he holds for any pushes and then lines up for his sight smoke. Once thrown, he heads behind the smoke to check monster and clears out the rest of the site with his team, eventually leading to the Astralis round win.
Overall, this strat will take a little practice to get right when it comes to the timing, but there isn't any overly complicated smoke, so it shouldn't be too bad. Some key things to think about is maintaining the water control and keeping the CTs from peaking by spamming the boost bots periodically. Generally, there is a monster player on most CT setups, and I think this strat is great for isolating those players and taking them on one by one with a group. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and feel free to give me any tips, complaints, or anything else you might think I should include in these videos.